I'm going to show you how to move some templates around and create templates in your My Templates section of Balfour Studio Works. So in the content section, you will notice that there are many templates to choose from, several hundred, and sometimes it can be a little daunting to try and find them. Or if you find one, you might want to change it around to suit your school needs, or probably will want to change it around. So if you go to the My Pages, it's very simple. We're going to open up a blank page that has no content on it. We're going to open up our content view here with the green plus sign, and we're going to take one of these templates and simply drag it onto the page. I'm going to select this one and drag it onto the page. Dragging a template onto the page will replace everything on the page, so you can go ahead and click I agree with that because that's what it's intended to do. I'm going to make some changes to this template just to show you that you can and so that you'll know that that's one of the that I have created a new template. So I'm going to make some changes here. I'm going to move these pictures around and change the text align on this particular caption text and kind of resize this and move this one here just so we know that I have indeed changed this from its original layout. Maybe I'll make this one different so we can see it right from the get-go. Sure, get these all lined up. I'm going to come over here to my full menu options. I'm going to go File, Save Template. I'm going to save this spread as a template. You can save just one side or the other. In this case, we can't because there is an object going across the gutter. We're going to save this spread as a template. We will get a warning that the page has warnings, which in this case, the page has warnings because we have image placeholders. We don't have any images. So all of your templates will have warning. We're going to say OK. And I want you to name these templates something that will make sense to you. I'm going to name mine large image with story and press OK. Now, if I go up to the My Templates section of my contents, you'll now see that the large image with story is here. So I'm going to go ahead and close this document out. I don't want to save changes to this page because this is actually placed on this page. So I'm going to say don't save and you'll see that my page is still empty. But now you'll notice in the in the Balfour templates, if you click on them, you cannot edit them. But once you move them over into the My Templates, you can edit the template. So if we went in here and removed these two items and closed this, you'll see that in this template, you, you might have to press refresh on this depending on how quickly you're going. You'll see that the actual template has changed. Now if I wanted to edit this again, I could come in here and group these by pushing control, right click, and group. And then in this instance, I'm just going to mirror this and reverse it. When you reverse it, make note that your text will also reverse its copy here. Oops. And you probably don't want that. So make sure, especially since you're creating a template, that you've gone ahead and moved things. You may need to nudge it just a scooch to recenter it on the page. I've checked everything. It's always good to check your image inspector and make sure that you don't have any of these errors here with these items too close to the page. Let's see. I have these objects a little too low. So shape on the gutter and empty imager as we know. Now I'm going to save this as another template because this is my large image with story reversed. 
Now if we go to the content view and hit refresh, you'll see now that I have two templates here. You can create as many templates as you like doing it in this manner. You'll see that these names are SW. You'll want to rename them something that makes sense to you. So that is how you go about creating your own templates and moving them in in StudioWorks.